Okay, this is the April 8th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, we are being videotaped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later on by our residents and the public. Okay, first item on the agenda, minutes for the April 1st meeting. Uh, did everybody review the minutes? Very nice. Yeah, they were great. Excellent as usual. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for April 1st. Do I have a second? Yes. Second. 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 Favor? All of favor? Okay. Aye. <clears throat> All right. Next item. <laughs> Meetings attended by select board members. Bill? Yeah. Um, the Open Space Committee went to the Open Space Committee tour of the, we call it the Cornfield. South Meadow. South Meadow is going to be the new name for it. Um, it's going to be River Bend Meadow at one point. <laughs> South um, But yeah, they have, they have lots of plans for that. What's the North Meadow if that's <laughs> the South Meadow? Sorry. I don't think the Open Space Committee would approve of that humor. Um, Just ask. I, yeah, and uh, uh, went to um, a union, we, we had a negotiating meeting, a strategy meeting. Um, the, yeah, the, all of our union contracts are postponed for negotiations are postponed for at least a month because our school lawyer is in the hospital right now giving birth to twins or his wife is but he's oh. by her side oh. okay um, and uh, I think that was it okay Robert uh, I also went for a wonderful walk through the South Meadow we Mostly we were there to talk about benches with a couple of people mm -hmm. like Peter Jeswald and, and Bob Compton who have a lot of experience with building building attractive and very, very sturdy benches. Okay. And, uh, and, and it's really nice to see the plant work that they've done, the, 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 the cutting and the, and, the, and the cutting back of the invasive species. It's really going along well. And you could really see how the lowering of the level of the water as it for, uh, for the for the flood control how that's really worked so good all of that was great um, I went on an MMA breakfast legislative breakfast down in Springfield so there were a few we could choose from and other people may have chosen other ones they went to but uh, I had never been to Forest Park it was in the carriage house down in Forest Park okay and so that was fun to find it and then and then go there and uh and there were a lot of mayors there the mayor of springfield sarno and uh, mayor morse was there a couple other mayors a lot of legislators were there mm -hmm. and uh it's always good to hear the the issues from other towns we were i was the only one from franklin county so i had to hold up our end of rural western massachusetts and that was good good yeah i i was going to go to that meeting and I had a last minute conflict so I couldn't make it. You would have enjoyed it. I'm sure. Yeah, and I, and we, like we had meetings. a site visit for the Conservation Commission for a new house that is being proposed so that was ah, good. good. To okay. Okay, I had a um, an MMA Personnel and Labor Relations Policy Committee meeting which was very interesting. All of the uh, the HR problems around the Commonwealth and what to do about them. It's uh, yeah. quite entertaining. Uh, that's, that was the only meeting I had. Um, I don't see any public here, so we won't have any public comments. Uh, next item is our old business, uh, fiscal <coughs> 2020 budget and warrant review. Uh, first, some notes on the budget. There's that. Um, this has been revised with, since the last time you saw it. First, the uh, two and a half percent raise was incorporated into the numbers. So uh, there's no longer the cola at the bottom. There's uh, it's contained within the, the numbers here. Mm -hmm. um, the total 
a little over six million dollars for the operating budget, up just 185,962 from last year for a 3.08 percent rise, which is uh, even better than the number I had before. So mm -hmm. that's uh, that's looking like the final. Um, under the article language, just for the record, I included the total amount being requested from the uh, garage stabilization fund at the top. So that brings the total in spending up. Um, of course, the amount coming from raise and appropriate is the same because all this money is, is not coming from raise and appropriate uh, in the articles other than Article 2. There was, uh, I added a chart. Uh, uh, first, the, uh, the tax rate, um, the little three-cell chart there, um, the estimated tax rate is $18.03, which would be down from $18.65. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's good news. It is estimated. I, I'm clarifying with Lee the final process for generating the tax rate. Mm -hmm. But that's uh, that's not a bad estimate. No. So uh, going down, not sure exactly how much. How much did our taxable base go up, increase, uh, increase this year or over last year? I think that's what we don't know, and that's why we. I think we the don't cherry sheet gave us clues for on the education number. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, you know, we're waiting for that. That's why this is an estimate. So. Uh, I don't think we find that out actually till after the fiscal years, after this fiscal year is over. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so next to that, a new chart for the levy limit. <coughs> uh, there's the calculation, uh, which shows us with four hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollars in excess levy capacity, very healthy. That's great. Um, that's based on fifty thousand dollars in uh, being added because of new growth. Mm -hmm. That will probably be more like sixty thousand. So that's uh, this is also a conservative estimate there. So those are the main changes. As I, I included a levy limit uh, table in this, mm -hmm. um, okay. the. Free cash remaining is still uh, at eighty-eight thousand to turn over to next year. So that's more than we've had in, in several years. That's good. Uh, I guess those are the only figures that have changed. So this should be a uh, as close as you get to a final version. Of course, it's not final figures because we won't have those. But for budgetary purposes, this is these are. Uh, these numbers are not likely to change, even if they're estimates, because that's what they're estimated at at this time, and anything else will come from the accountant later on. Looks like um, our $186,000 increase is about uh, 75000 for the town and about 111000 for the schools. Can you say that again? Uh, it should see be. This in, this, see this increase? Yeah. One, yeah. One, the, 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 the town, the the town and school subtotals off to the off to the right of those. Yeah. Um, the the number for the rise, the dollar rise, is forty four thousand two seventy three for the town and for the town, right? And, and one forty one six eighty nine for the schools. All oh, right, yeah. There's another number in there. Okay. Yeah. So that's um, again um, <laughs> as reasonable as we could possibly hope. Yeah. Uh, I think the reason the um, the school uh, subtotal isn't even higher, you know, um, with with Frontier going up. 133 in operations and 31 in transportation is because of the 66,000, 60, almost $67,000 drop in tech schools. Right. And yeah. next year, we have been warned that that 
that our payment to the tech schools will probably more than double. Right. Yeah. Uh, so there, that'll be their year for, uh, you know, a uh, uh, $150,000 plus rise, right. which will be more than, certainly more than Frontiers. Mm. Well, not including the transportation, I guess, but if it goes up, you know, 170, 180,000, then then we're we're definitely in the realm of what Frontier went up this year. And we can only hope for that jump we had to be stable again next year, just a couple of percent. Yeah. So that's just pretty much for your record, but I did want you to know that I um, updated it with uh, with the levy limit figures and and all the other uh, numbers are should be good in there. Okay. Great, great uh, work, Tom. Mm -hmm. Then for uh, uh, the warrant review, the first thing is I just wanted to uh, show, I, I have kind of a cover letter for the warrant. Uh, and I think you have a copy of that. Do you have a copy of that? Yes, yeah, you have a copy yeah. of that. Um, there were some things that I wanted to, you know, before people sank their teeth into the warrant, I wanted to draw their attention to some of the more, what I thought were some of the more important things. Uh, oh, and this says 08. We've got a 318, yeah. There's a, um, that's going to be a zero up there. Okay. I'll, uh, <clears throat> that was back before I made the final, re final revision. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's letting them know that we're doing substantially better in terms of the rise than we did last year. Um, then, very much emphasizing none of the funds for any other articles are planned to be raised from taxation or borrowed, including the highway facility articles. All of the money outside of Article 2 is planned to be taken from free cash, various stabilization accounts, the ambulance receipts reserved account, or the assessor's overlay surplus account letting people know what those are. I mean, that first sentence in that paragraph, too, is true, but we are authorizing the borrowing for the frontier thing, but it doesn't have a dollar amount attached to it, but we are authorizing it. It's, it's a little bit, I don't know. Well, none of the funds are yeah, coming yeah, from yeah. raising a yeah. that's, you know, that, that That's a money statement. Yeah. Um, uh, then I talk about the budget and say, hey, by the way, there's a budget. You can find it on the website or come into the town office. Mm -hmm. uh, I list five specific changes to the published budget in case some people have seen that to say, you know, these are, this is news, budget news. Um, and then just a statement because yeah, you know, every every year there's somebody saying, you know, why are the Warren articles written that way? And I just thought I would say they're written broadly with the motions for the articles stating the sources of funds. The reason that for that is to allow flexibility so that the for sources of funding may be changed if there are any changes in town finances prior to town meeting. Now, most of the time that's not going to happen. But if people get in the habit of having very specific Warren articles, by the time you want to change it, there could be some necessary action that would be outside of the scope of the article. So we have to amend it at the town meeting. Well, not just that, but it might actually be outside of the scope of the article. Uh -huh. And um, for instance, if you wanted to borrow rather than take from stabilization or something like that, that's a much more important you can't do that decision. The and the moderate, it's the moderator's uh -huh. discretion, but the moderator could say, hang on, that's a big change. People were not properly warned, which is the purpose of the warrant, yeah, yeah. to, um, and might not be here, who would be here if they knew that this, is, this was the proposal for funding. Mm -hmm. So this is to avoid that ever happening, even though it probably won't. But it's a best practice because it allows business to proceed, and that's why the motions are more specific than the articles. Um, then call me if you have any questions. So I'm 
thinking this will go in with the town report and the warrant. And people say, oh, okay, here's some notes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully people will be able to get the context a little bit better. And, you know, also go look at the budget. You know, you can see some details for why some things are going on anyway. Um, and one small thing in the um, warrant before we get to a, a more important item. Um, Article 10, I, I had said a, a new mini excavator, which what I had said for all the other ones was to replace the one. So I've, I've made that also to replace, because it is actually <laughs> replacing it. And that's more the point than it's a new piece of equipment. And that change on all and, of them? That is, it's a piece of equipment we didn't have before. Right. I didn't want people to, you know, think that that was why it was different. So mm -hmm. I just made it the same language as all the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now for the biggie. Uh, Article 3. Yeah. Um, I actually got a phone call from Darius this afternoon. And he said, um, no, you don't want the little number in there. Um, and my supposition now is because they're not going to borrow before June 30th, and therefore we won't have any payments to make in fiscal year 20. Well, we won't start making payments till fiscal year 21. So what that means is that um, what you have before you might also be, uh, I just wanted to get that out and, and see that there was concurrence for that, um, because this one includes the possibility of actually putting up some money. And if we can get rid of it, that would be a good thing. Um, I don't understand that last sentence. What do you mean this one includes the possibility of? The, the, the second part of this new Article 3 includes the possibility, the second bold bit. Oh, yeah, oh. that's what. So I don't think we need that. See, and that, this is, but. You're up, oh. so you got a deadline. Is that what this, because what's the impact of tabling this for a week? Um, it, it wouldn't be that bad, but I, I don't think we have to. If we include this language in the article, we don't have to include it in the motion. Again, that's one of the reasons to have articles be broader than, than what you need. Um, I, I don't, th this is the language that Deerfield is using. And right. I don't, um, I don't like not quite. The, the a sum of money while they're also borrowing, so which we don't have to do. Um, so the word that I got from him was, we sent out language on Friday. That's what we want you to use. But the language they sent out was not article language. It was what the Frontier School District voted. Right. So what I did was I took the language that the Frontier School District voted and put that into the article, um, which... Again, I don't think it's necessary, but better to be, to more fully inform people than not. Um, it, what really matters is the motion. And the motion for this will be basically exactly the same as the article. Um, and, and if you think that we can get rid of that second part and it would read better, yeah. I'm fine with I, that. I, I hesitate to substitute my judgment on something like this when um, th th it's really this stuff gets complicated so mm -hmm. the, the reason that it's we're so late on this is you remember with the, the deadline the, yeah. it was just voted on on Thursday so that it wouldn't mess up the town meetings yeah. um, and what it, it's the one thing that is vital is that the four towns um, vote on the same warrant language right. and the problem is that it's never going to be the same warrant language, warrant language when some of the towns are borrowing and some, and some aren't. aren't. Yeah. And, um, and we can't get the school lawyer to look at this because he's bedside with his wife giving twins. <laughs> and, and what and, Darius said was, just use the language that, was in, that we sent out to you on Friday. And I think that covers everything that's I mean, going to need to be covered. It could conceivably, and you might be right, but this is important enough that I'd really like to run it by the person um, who we can sue if he's wrong, 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously. Because um, th this is important stuff. And um, or What are the other towns doing? Are they voting this one? I mean, they well, must be voting their warrants, too. For instance, here, here's Deerfield's language. Um, and, and, and the first part, you know, I would be happy to use their language um, right up you know, the first three lines of what they say, to see if the town will do this, uh, to fund the town of uh, Conway's portion of the Frontier Regional School Committee's Capital Improvement Plan, period. Um, except we're not voting a sum of money. What they don't say is that the town is accepting the borrowing, which is the whole point of what we're doing. The town has to approve the capital borrowing for the plan. Now, maybe they're going on the theory that if the town doesn't do anything within 60 days, it's approved anyway. So it's right. only if the town votes in the negative that it really has an effect. And I don't think Conway's going to vote in the negative on this. And Darius himself told Lisa this afternoon, uh, who took the call, that what we should use is the language that was voted, that was sent to us on Friday, which is this language. Which is not really correct, because it's not warrant language. But, so, I, yeah, so, so that's the warrant language. I, I, and know. what you, what you composed actually was a fairly good bit of draftsmanship, I thought. Um, and it's technical stuff, and it's difficult, but... I just, um, I just but, I did what he said. I but, copied this. But what you just said in the preceding couple of minutes, I thought, was a really good argument for tabling it for a week, though, given all the various uncertainties, which may or may not be real uncertainties and may only be imaginary uncertainties. But nonetheless, we do have somebody in place that can um, give an official seal of approval, and I think we ought to... Well, if, again, it's the motion that matters so long as it's within the scope of the article. Mm -hmm. And I think the scope of the article includes everything that Frontier is going to ask for. So I would say we can go ahead with this, and if we need to change the motion, we can, we can do that. It will always be within the scope of this article because this is all they're asking for. Mm -hmm. This is a big enough, scary enough thing, though. People are going to want to be able to read it. Well, uh, that, and that's why I put I mean, all of the language in here, right. unlike Deerfield. This is Deerfield's final language, and it's nothing like yeah. what Darius was asking for. Yeah. And, you know, so I... And, and what I, I, I what did matters get to is speak, the intent. I did get emotion. to speak to him, and he, he sort of got... My understanding was he got one answer from the Deerfield Town Administrator and another answer from Skip, the uh, Finance Committee... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fellow, and apparently a lot of this was it was drafted by two different people, and um, that's sort of why there's sort of a disconnect between the two different parts. And I did I asked Darius to call um, Brian Domina, Domina at Waitley, and um, uh, and he's not going to take a look at it till tomorrow. Um, so. Um, I think what you put what you put might be fine, but I don't want to say that, and I don't want to sign on that yet because I want to. I... So how long can we wait? A week. We can still... But we're never going to be the same as Deerfield, right? That is Deerfield's well, we final might, language. But we might. But but we can we can have language that's gotten the seal of a good housekeeping seal of approval from our lawyer, and right now. From our lawyer, from the school's from the lawyer, school's <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> who is who is our lawyer? Um, yeah, yeah, as well. But um, and, and uh, I mean, this is tricky stuff. You know, the, yeah, the, but, the, but this article includes everything that could possibly. But be we're going to read a motion that reads really different than this. No, it's going to no. read almost exactly yeah. the same. That's the problem. I, I would much rather have a much vaguer warrant article, and I'm not persuaded that. Darius fully understands the difference between the warrant article and the motion. Mm. But I'm happy to put all of this in the article anyway, partly as an educational thing, but partly be and partly because that's, you know, he said, use that language, and I'm, I'm happy to do it. 
Um, it what it may, what it means is that that leaves somewhat less flexibility for for Frontier, but they don't want any. They've they've, they've got their plan, you know, really well laid out. So that that's that's my only concern is is that is that the Warren article is is too narrow. This is but, significantly more transparent than yeah. that article. That article says nothing. Uh, do you feel? Yeah, <clears throat> it's, it, it's nothing. If it, so they're, they're, if it doesn't, if it doesn't hurt, even there, if it doesn't hurt our town. If it doesn't hurt any other person, committee, group in our town, and we can wait a week to get certainty from everybody, um, I would like to do that. If, if, uh, if it involves pain or cost to the town to do that, then that's another thing. Well, but what it, it means is that people might not get the the warrant two weeks before town meeting, which is what they're used to. And they may. You think that they may still look may. at it tomorrow or the yeah, next day? Yeah. Could we come back in and vote it in two days? Yeah, but that's only Quately. We haven't heard from Sunderland either. And we and we and we don't know when we're going to hear from the lawyer. I, I just oh, I think you said the lawyer's going to look at it tomorrow. Week. Well, yeah. The, um, oh, I thought you said Brian was going to. Brian's going to look at it tomorrow. Yeah. The, we don't know when the lawyer's going to look at it. Depends how the uh, twins go. Whatever. Well, he's got a cell phone. He can look at this stuff. Yeah. Um. Well, you know, we can we can set it for next week, and then if we if we get information tomorrow, we can meet Thursday. We could. Uh, who are we waiting for here? We're waiting for the school lawyer, school attorney, the school lawyer. Attorney. The school we're lawyer. Waiting for. Waitley to look at? No, no, really just the school and lawyer. Sunderland to look at? Really just the school lawyer because um, uh, if, if he okays Deerfield and he okays us, then I'm, I'm good with, I don't care what, the, what, he, what, then presumably Waitley and Sunderland can have their own discussions with him. But, uh, <clears throat> I think we're good to go. What do you think? I would just assume if we can do it in two days and the school lawyer looks at it, that's a good idea. Okay, do we want to um, set a, well, let's see, two days is, two days is the 10th. Well, we'd have to do it on Thursday, unless you wanted to meet at 6.30. <laughs> you know, it's 48 hours, so. Right, that's true. I'm kind of thinking Thursday because it's going to take us a day to get in touch with, them, to even know whether we're going to be able to do it. Thursday evening. Yeah. So, so if we don't hear by tomorrow night, then maybe it's not Thursday evening either, because we won't know that we'll. We can always cancel the meeting, I suppose. But the, you know. Yeah. I I can. I I, I can work the phones in the morning and make sure we get an answer tomorrow. All right. So if we get an answer tomorrow, then we're talking about. Thursday. Yeah. Evening. So we have a FERCOG electrical aggregation meeting with Colonial on Thursday night, six o'clock. We're up at FERCOG? At FERCOG, yeah. Do this at five? That would be okay. If Thursday. I've got Boston on Thursday too. Uh, I'm not going to be back by five. Be Friday morning. That works too. Friday morning works. That'd be good. All right. Okay. Nine o'clock Friday morning. Is that good? As long you know, as long as all it's going to do is we can still get it out, get it printed and mailed in time. Well, it's not. It's cutting it close. It, it, it's not going to get there really in time. At the, if you're going to wait till Friday to vote, um, well, it could. Um, it, I mean, it might get there two weeks before town meeting, but it's probably not going to get there two weeks before pre-town meeting. Uh -huh. that okay. Well, and really, yeah, they That's only okay. they don't need it in their hands more than the day before pre-town meeting mm. to make big copies of it. What pre-town meeting is two weeks before this year? Just one. one just one. Yeah. Okay. So you know we're, we're 
we're, we're still doing okay. okay. And, and this is, you know, we're, we're counting the schedule conservatively, so <clears throat> chances are things will go fine, um, even if we delayed it a week. That's why I build in the extra week. That's very good. But it, it makes us more dependent on the printer's schedule. You know, and getting it mailed, that sort of thing. Right. Been on that building renovation committee for almost two years, and I hate to fumble the ball at the last <laughs> second, really. Uh, All right, we, we, can, we have time. Yeah. We have time. Because it's, it's really four plus weeks from now that town meeting is. Right. Yeah. And my guess is what you did is probably just going to be fine, and we're just going to say, yeah. That. Just like it, the last time I asked for a delay of a week, it was a useless thing as well. But um, yeah. okay, new business, Tom. I don't see any. So, do we need to make a motion to table this, or no? We're, that's so good. Okay. Um, items not anticipated, Tom. Uh, no. You have an update other than do. what you've already done for us? Okay. For uh, committee and board information, as we have heard, it looks as though the Open Space Committee will be handling the gift of a memorial bench from the hatches. Uh, in departmental news, we may need to shift some money for mowing as FY 2019 draws to a close. So this is what was prompting the walks down at the yeah. South Meadow. Well, no. Oh, in particular? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Well, well, I know, and, and they have a lot of other plans, too. I know they always have. Um, uh, I had wrongly identified the trust fund used uh, for the cemeteries. Uh, that is the C.S. Boyden fund. And the Mark Boyce Germain fund was the one previously slated for covering the ball field, which is a more expensive proposition than maintaining the cemeteries. What that means is that we've overdrawn the Mark Boyce Germain fund, um, and because it was more expensive, uh, and Ron thought that was the one, turns out Ron's going to need more money. <laughs> so between, uh, and, and I'll just say the highway superintendent thinks next year will be manageable as we will have a substantial amount of funds from no longer leasing the sheep barn. But that leaves us with April, May, June for FY19. So if we can transfer some funds, you know, between accounts sometime in May or June, um, that'll help him with uh, the FY19 part of the, mm -hmm. of the mowing season. Yeah. And this is different money than what we talked about for mowing the South Meadow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and some of that money might be able to be used too. Um, I had put in as an upper figure 3,000. One of the quotes has now come in for 1,700. Um, so it's more than the 1,500 that um, some had thought it was going to be. Um, but we do have a sub substantial amount in there and could transfer that if we needed to as well. Um, in any case, it's a small enough amount of money so that we'll be able to transfer between accounts sometime in May or June and, and take care of that. Um, the Insurance Advisory Committee, the group of union and retiree representatives looking over the proposed health care plan changes, will be meeting Thursday at the Conway Grammar School at 3 p.m. in the library. I will present the proposed Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust Plan and discuss some other regional plans as well as an alternative possibility from Maya. The sticking point with Maya is that in the third year of switching to the Maya plan and in all subsequent years, the premium would include a weighted combination of 26.1% of town experience and 73.9% pool or group experience. This means that a single expensive claim could substantially drive up yeah. Conway's premium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust, we don't get that. It, everybody gets the pool average. Uh, Maya breaks out a certain amount. And because we're such a small town, we have a relatively high um, 
uh, amount of our premium that would be that would be weighted um, as uh, from town experience. And what's my justification for that? That not to expose well, the town from something that happens to some other to the town. pool. Yeah. So they're they're not spreading it equally over the pool. Um, I think probably some towns that was the, a condition hmm. on which they would join when it was mm -hmm. set up 30 years ago or, or whatever it was. Because um, I, I, I remember being told that one of the truths of health care administration is that a small percentage of, bene of people getting benefits drive a very large percentage of the costs. Mm -hmm. And so, so like, how it do you... might be you. Yeah. <laughs> so, it could be. So, so, yeah, you're right. So, so, so how do you evaluate, like, what do you do, line them all up and compare them to average physical health for their age, whatever, and just make bets on... Uh, on your well, group, that, that's, on your that's the actuary's job. Well, yeah. That's why I like large pools. So, right. Anyway, that's that's the sticking point with, with going to Maya at this point. It's very attractive for two years. Uh, the first year, you you um, you pay what, you, what you've always been paying, and you get the same plan you've always had. The second year, you pay what the pool, the average of the pool, and then the third year and all subsequent years, you get this, this weighted thing. And the they problem, have two years of experience. And, and, of and the the problem, yes, and the problem there is that if we leave the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust and have some expensive claim, there's no way they'll let us back in. So, um, with the town, I, I with am. The town save money is the question. I am risk averse, as representing the town, and so the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust at this point, uh, they're proposing. We they're still maintaining no medical deductible, which is really extraordinary. None of the other regional plans do that. Mm -hmm. um, now we could have the same plan with Maya, but at some point. Uh, we'd be paying for it with our premium, so that's that's the um, that's Will the general sense that, that Jan and I have about how it would play out. So is that's that's what I'm going to present. Is this anyway. meeting going to decide which plan, or are we still no no? As I'm just presenting the plan, then then we have to appoint the public employees committee which is actually the same people as the Insurance Advisory Committee, except we're going to get a recommendation from the Retirees Association. Linda Baker starts off as the Insurance Advisory Committee's retiree representative. She may or may not be the Public Employee Committee's retiree representative. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, a, smart it's a complicated process. Um, we've been through the warrant changes. Uh, I'm also still working on the motions for the articles. We should be able to go over those next week. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> there will be a bicycle ride through Northern Conway from Sabin Road to East Guinea Road via 116 and North Poland Road this Saturday. The police chief has Who's been organizing notified. that? Who's organizing that? I have, his, I have the info on my desk. Great. So the just the, going back to your the insurance stuff that um, uh, I've been told by a bunch of people that the one thing that we can do uh, as a community that um, this, this would to, be to, a to, to, to our comment wouldn't it? It's worthy. They're they're uh, beautiful. Sure. We're moving. The, the one thing that we can do as a community to drive down education costs is within this realm of health insurance. That um, and so I whatever you do, just keep our flexibility to be able to cut costs if we really need to. <laughs> as flexible as we can. Yep. Yep. Okay. Any other select board comments? During the open meeting, Walk did receive a very negative comment towards the, our actions. Uh, the open space committee walk. Yes, the open yes. space committee walk. We received a very negative comment towards our actions in the uh, about the Woodland Partnership. I, I think there's a letter to that effect uh, in the purple folder that John is uh, going to read. And I, I didn't. I, I don't really even understand the criticism of it. I don't. But uh, I didn't think. Oh, that would, oh I no! I don't think that would be controversial. No, no, that, that was different. That, that's a different critical letter. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I, I didn't think that it would be very controversial. It seems really pretty manila, vanilla to well, me. Well, it, but, it um, is for those who actually have followed the changes since it was first proposed. When it was first proposed, it got a lot of initial negative publicity because of some controversial sections, including, um, you know, they were throwing out economic development ideas that included wood pellets. And um, some people strongly objected to that, and it was withdrawn, and not everybody got the notice that it had been withdrawn. So people are still fighting that battle years after it's been won. I would say the negative comments are more aimed at that we shouldn't have voted it as a board, even though we're totally entitled to that it should have been argued out in town meeting. And I recall the, uh, the sentiment of our representative, which was that there was enough complicated information that um, the debate at town meeting would necessarily be not well enough informed to make um, a well-informed decision. We, we, we did the right thing by voting it. Uh, no, I totally it. support what we did, but, yeah. but, but, I, but I think it's, mm -hmm. more, it's, it's more that, we, that people aren't going to get their say in town meeting. As, a, you know, as opposed to what the details are of what they like or don't like about the partnership. So. Okay, any yeah. other comments? No? Okay. Um, okay, mail, mail. Um, we got a letter from one of our residents concerning a meeting we had a couple of weeks ago. Have you guys seen that one? Um, we also got a letter from um, Jason Silverman, the Conway Agricultural Commission, uh, talking about the place of, of cannabis cultivation as far as agriculture is concerned. Uh, Tom, would you get together with Jason and, and talk more about this with, with him? Okay. okay. Um, do you, do you have an electronic version of that you could mail to us? Yeah, it but came in it no, came in like an hour ago, so great, I didn't great. bother to. We have a letter from the president of Greenfield Savings Bank, who um, this year is the Greenfield Savings Bank's 150th anniversary, and they want to uh, present us with a uh, an elm tree for our, our town common or other appropriate location. Now, if you remember correctly, before the um, uh, our own 250th anniversary, we planted some American elms down in the uh, pumpkin hollow triangle. Yeah, that would be so, my wife and I that planted those. That's right. It, as a matter of fact, yes. Um, I dug the holes myself. All right. This is good. <laughs> One more. <laughs> so I, I think it would probably be appropriate if we let this tree join the three trees down there. Yeah. And they be happy together. Okay, I had, I had forwarded that note to uh, the highway superintendent and the garden club, uh, my contact there, Rue Donnelly. Um, so, uh, maybe I can get you in touch with her, or? I have they still need somebody to dig the hole. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sure Rue would be pleased to know. And she would want to help pick out the tree, you know. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. perhaps uh, and supervise my wife and I loading it onto the truck. <laughs> can, can, can you uh, can get in touch with her then? Yeah. All right. Thanks. That's great. We also got a letter from Furcog um, concerning uh, traffic counts. Do we want to do a traffic count? Thing? A any any particular roads, places on roads that uh, we need to know about now i talked to ken or ron i I, I've, that? I've i've forwarded that um okay so i wonder just from an economic planning point of view what the this middle right through the middle of yeah town. yeah okay. economic okay. planning yeah for for what for future business relocations <laughs> economic growth um i i'm fully in favor of, of economic yes, yes. growth but um doesn't look like we're going to do too much here in the center of town. Yeah. Got to start somewhere. Okay. So my, my only concern for roads is 
the big increase in the number of people that are on driving on Elm Street ever since all of our GPSs tell us to take that route. Yeah. Really? Yes, they what, do. What's happening now? When I drive down the Shelburne Falls Road, my GPS unit tells me to turn, cross the bridge, turn right on Elm Street, yeah. and, 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 and go make past that, the library. You, that, and go past the library. Well, rather than, than, rather go, than down go down Main Street. It saves 10 and feet or something. I, if you, I, put it, I, if you, you put a tape measure on it, it I saves 10 feet. Probably does. That's, that's strange. And, and if I were a resident of Elm Street, I think I would notice that change in traffic. Uh, so here's a question. Um, we could put it between the library and where Reed's Bridge Road goes out to Shelburne Falls Road. We could put it beyond that point. We could have oh, two. Oh, see who's coming down. One yep. before and one yep. after. What, what, what would you... Uh, Are we actually talking about a traffic camp? Well... Are we actually talking about that? Well, I'm, I'm, it, because it, it matters where you put the machine, you know, so, or you could have two. Right, right. So we'll, we'll talk, we'll... To me, that's the, that's the, the most... The Google Maps is supposed to have like a 1-800 number where you can... Well, they kill, there's what, people that die every year in this country by being told to drive into lakes and off mountains and everything by those machines. <laughs> Seriously. What is yeah. the traffic count actually going to tell us? Well, they put the uh, how many people are the counter, and they run. Taking that shortcut. You know, they run the tubes across, and and they're actually at a particular distance, yeah. so they can yeah. tell what kind of vehicle it was. They do it by the hour, by the type of vehicle, over the course of a week. They have some visual observation where they're, where they're actually there, present for various periods. And you can of tell time. the speed of the vehicle. And you get the speed and, of the vehicle. And people that drive over it aren't sure whether it's a police speed detection mm. unit or not, so they always slow down. So <laughs> I, I like that. I like that you want to put it right in front of my yeah. house. Traffic slows but, down, it's nice but and quiet. Knowing what it is, depending on where it is, I speed up. Because I want to <laughs> drive up the, the uh, I want to go through that area faster. You, you outlaw you. Okay. Do we have anything else on traffic counts? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Any announcements? No. No, no announcements. Okay. Our next meeting is here. Um, the 16th, Tuesday. The 16th, tax day. That's right. It's not a week from today. It's no, a week from that's tomorrow. That's Patriot's Day. It is, yeah. Patriot's Day is the 15th. Yeah. Right. Are you running in the marathon this year? Uh, as always. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Running is away from it. Is the, Deerfield, the, Deerfield, <laughs> the Deerfield police chief is, and he's raising money if anybody wants to contribute. I'll be involved in the Red Sox game. So. Oh, that's nice. Chief right. Pachoric is. You mean you'll, you'll be in, in Boston on, on Patriots Day? Yeah. So the marathon and Boston Red Sox, you're not going to get back for, for two days. They play at 11 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh, that's right. They play in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The same time, the, doesn't the, the, uh, they probably go the marathon go off at 11 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, but it's 26 miles away. Yeah. Well, go, yeah, it starts in Hopkinson, <laughs> right? Yeah. Hopkinson. Okay, luck, any it's other? It's been freezing and snowing the past like four or five. Any other Patriots comments? Still. So if it's a long enough game, they might we still be playing. Yeah. Okay. That'd be no for me. <laughs> okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I have a second. All okay. in favor? Aye. Aye.